Hello mga bata! I'm Teacher Nell, your science teacher for today. Our lesson for today is all about changes that materials undergo. Welcome to our new topic today, which is all about changes that materials undergo. The most essential learning competency for this topic is to investigate changes that happen in materials under the following conditions, presence or lack of oxygen, and application of heat. The specific objectives are analyze that materials change when heat is applied and tell that lack or presence of oxygen would change the material chemically. To check your knowledge about this lesson, please try to answer the five questions and write your answers in your notebook. Remember that you have to submit this to your science teacher. Number one. Which process does not use up oxygen? A. Rusting of nail B. Cutting of wood C. Spoiling of meat D. Digesting of food Number 2 Which shows a chemical change? A. Cooking an egg B. Boiling of water C. Breaking of glass D. Melting an ice cube Number 3. Which shows a physical change? A. Baking of cake B. Cooking of egg C. Crushing of can D. Burning of wood Number 4. Which shows a physical change when sugar is heated? A. The sugar turns black B. The sugar turns into caramel C. The sugar melts and smells sweet. D. The sugar produces a burnt smell. Number 5. What shows a chemical change of paper? A. The paper is crumpled. B. The paper becomes wet. C. The paper turns into ash. D. The paper is cut into pieces. Materials undergo changes. Sometimes these changes are good, but sometimes they are not. For example, you crumple paper before throwing it in the trash can. But when you burn the paper, ashes are formed and some gases that are not safe to the environment are released. Paper is matter. Matter undergoes changes that can be physical or chemical. Looking back on the test you took, did it give you an idea about your lesson? Do you know a lot about our lesson already? Good! Let's find out more about our lesson. Come on! Let us do some thinking exercise. Let's do spot the difference. I am going to show you two pictures of the same kind. Then you are going to find the difference in the pictures. You will also answer the given questions. Write your answers in your answer notebook or your activity notebook. Are you ready? Let's start! Spot the difference of these two pictures. Number 1. What object is shown in the two pictures? Number 2. What is the difference between the objects and the pictures? Number 3. What happened to the iron chain after some time? Number 4. What does this change mean? Number 5. What kind of change is it? Don't forget to write your answers in your activity notebook and submit your answers to your science teacher. In the first set of activities, you will need a banana. Here is what you are going to do. 
first first jump 20 times and rest for one minute number two observe what you produce you're expected to sweet number three then get a banana and peel it number four expose the banana in the air number five Observe what happens to the color of the banana. Always remember to write your observations in your activity notebook. Here are the guide questions for the first set. Guide questions. Number one. What did your body produce after jumping 20 times? Number two. How is sweet related to the presence of oxygen in your body? Number three, what made the banana change its color after some time? Number four, what kind of change is it? In the second set of activities, you will need two pieces of paper, a matchstick, a candle and a small empty can. Here is what you're going to do. First, crumple one piece of paper. Number two, observe the change in the paper. Number three, then get a candle and make it stand safely on the top of the table. Light the candle with a matchstick. Be careful in using the matchstick. Protect your hands from the heat. Number four, get another piece of paper and place one tip on the end of the flame. Number five, observe what happens to the paper as it burns. Put the burning paper inside the can. Be careful in burning the paper. Protect your hands from the flame. Good job! You are almost done with the activities. Here are the guide questions for the second set. First, what happens to the properties of paper when you crumpled it? Second, did it produce a new material? If yes, what is the name of the new material? Third, what kind of change is it? Number four, what happens the properties of paper when you place it on the flame. Number five, did it produce a new material? If yes, what is the name of the new material? Number six, what kind of change is it? In the third set of the activities, you will need the two metal spoons, a matchstick, a candle, water, sugar and pot holder here is what you are going to do number one let the candle stand safely on the top of the table light the candle with a matchstick be careful in using matchstick protect your hands from the heat number two using a metal spoon give a small amount of water number three place the spoon on the top of the flame for 30 minutes or until the water disappears. Be careful in heating the spoon with water. The water might splatter so you need to bring it farther from the flame. Protect your hands by using a pot holder. Number 4. Observe the changes that happen to water. Number 5. Place a pinch of sugar in an old metal spoon. Number 6. Place the spoon on top of the flame for 10 minutes or until the sugar produces a burnt smell. Be careful in heating the spoon with sugar. Protect your hands by using a pot holder. When the sugar turns to liquid, it might splatter so put the spoon farther from the flame. Number 7. Observe the changes that happen to the sugar. Here are the guide questions for the third set. Number one, what did you observe when you heated the water? 
Number two, what happened to the water after applying heat for 30 minutes? Number three, did it produce a new material? If yes, what is the name of the new material? Number four, what kind of change is it? Number five, what happens to the properties of sugar when you apply heat? Number six, what happens to the properties of sugar after applying heat for 10 minutes? Number seven, did it produce a new material? If yes, what is the name of the new material? Number, number eight, what kind of change is it? Congratulations for doing the activities and writing down your observations. What you did will help you describe what happens to materials when oxygen is present or absent and when is heat is applied to them. Keep this in mind that oxygen is a part of air that surrounds us. It is used by the body to continue life. It has effects on different materials. The digestion of food uses oxygen so that it can be used by the body. This process releases energy from the food so that the body can use it for biological processes or for work. People and animals use oxygen in respiration. As oxygen is inhaled, some materials inside the body combine with it and undergo a chemical reaction that gives off carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Materials change also when there is no oxygen or when it is lacking. Some fruits like apple, turnips, and mango turns brown in color when exposed to air. This is also true to some root crops and vegetables like sweet potato and eggplant. Iron combines with oxygen to form rust. These processes are changes that we call chemical change. When paper is crumpled, folded, or cut, it changes in size, shape, texture, and appearance, but it still remains the same material. When the rubber band is stretched or cut, it changes in size, shape, and number of pieces but it also remains the same material. When a piece of chalk is pounded, it changes in size and number of pieces, but it still remains the same material. Physical change will not form a new material, only the appearance change. Remember, physical change will not form a new material, only the phys physical appearance change. Application of heat can also cause physical change. Materials can undergo physical change when heated. For example, when ice is heated, it turns to water. When water boils steam or water vapor goes up. Water when applied with heat turns to water vapor. When sugar is heated, it turns into liquid but the smell still sweet and turns to syrup. Matter could change chemically due to application of heat. In a chemical change, the appearance of matter changes and a new material is formed. When the paper was burned, there was change in shape, color, smell, and substance. When paper is burned, it turned to ashes. When the matchstick was burned, there was change in color, smell, and substance. When the matchstick is burned, it turns to charcoal. Examples of physical change are crushing a can, melting an ice cube, boiling of water, breaking of glass, shredding of paper and chopping of wood. Examples of chemical change are burning of wood, souring of milk, digestion of food, cooking an egg, baking of cake, and rusting of iron.
Can you now describe what happens to a material that undergoes a change in the presence or absence of oxygen? Can you describe the change in a material when heat is applied? As you reach this part of the video lesson, you learned a lot about physical and chemical changes that happens to materials when oxygen is present or absent and when they are heated. You learn that these changes can be physical or chemical changes. You are ready to test yourself and use what you learned. Directions Select the best answers and write the letter of your choice in your activity notebook. Number 1. Which statement is true about chemical changes? A. Chemical changes are not observable. B. Chemical changes always produce a new material. C. Chemical changes do not change chemical properties. D. All of the statements are correct. Number 2. Which pair shows chemical change? A. Baking of cake and souring of milk. B. Cooking an egg and breaking of glass. C. Boiling of water and melting an ice cube. D. Chopping of wood and burning of paper. Number 3. Which pair shows a physical and a chemical change? A. Baking of cake and cooking of egg. B. Breaking of glass and crushing of pan. C. Boiling of water and melting an ice cube. D. Chopping of wood and burning of paper. Number 4. Which process does not involve a chemical change? A. Oxygen combines with food during digestion. B. We inhale oxygen and give off carbon dioxide. C. Fruits like apple and banana turns brown when it is exposed to air. The oxygen is observed when paper is crumpled and changed its size and shape. Number 5. Which shows the chemical change when water is heated? A. The water boils. B. The water turns into vapor. C. The water splatters from the pot. D. The water forms a brown material on the pot surface. Congratulations on finishing the lesson in this video. You just had amazing learnings. This time, you will give your insights by completing some sentence prompts. I have learned that. I wish to ask my teacher about. Don't forget to submit your answers to your science teacher. Here are some science key concepts. Materials change under the condition of presence or absence of oxygen. It could be changed physically or chemically. In a physical change, only the appearance of the matter changes and no new material is In a chemical change, the appearance of the matter changes and a new material is formed. Application of heat also causes materials to change physically or chemically. Thank you for watching and I hope that you learned something today. Bye-bye!